There's a bonehead inside this tank, up in arms about dinosaur defense. And he's loading up his guns for combat. Incoming! One, two, three, four! Grandpa studied dino bones. Sam and Allie loved just what he did. Oh, they really took his work. Hunting on the internet for all the dino stories they could get. Scientists think they're piecing it together. Bonehead, detectives of the paleo world. Bonehead, detectives of the paleo world. Wow, Sam, that's pretty cool. Uh, uh, hi, everyone. We've got a huge mystery on our hands today. I'll let Sam explain. Well, it's really not such a big deal. I was just telling Allie about the dream I had last night. Dreams can tell you a lot if you know what they mean. Well, I mean, at first it was really fun because I was riding on this huge sauropod and I was looking down at the whole Cretaceous age. But when the big guy dropped me off, that's when things turned scary. Extinction? Worse. A bunch of velociraptors jumped me. I tried to fight back, but all I had in my pocket was a guitar pick. <laughs> What'd you do? Well... I did what any red-blooded American bonehead would do. I woke up. Well, you should have turned into a stegosaurus. That freaky leaf muncher? Um, he may look pretty impressive, but uh, I don't think he knew how to fight. Well, how about this tail? This is a killer tail. It's like a whole set of steak knives. Yeah, well, raptors were pretty bad, too, and I didn't even mention Allosaurus. Well, that's today's question. Did the armored plant eaters like Stegosaurus stand a chance against the big meat-eating predators? Oh, come on, do you really think this little dude could fight off Big Al? Well, our bonehead experts are in the field digging up clues about these vegetarian fighting machines. They're trying to solve the puzzle of Cretaceous combat. It's time for a little military mystery history on Bonehead Detectives. Well, it's no mystery who dominates the battlefield today. Anyone driving one of these. Hey, check it out. Tanks by Converse. Uh, they look more like the U.S. Army to me. Either way, there's still serious fighting machines. But they weren't the first. Go to the museum and you'll find the prototype. This is an early example of Thyreophora, which means shield bears. The dinosaur namers really hit the nail on the head this time. Look at this! The knobby armor all over this Thyreo's back kept him safe from predators. But he was just chapter one in the long history of dinosaur tanks. What is it, time for your patented timeline? Well, uh, patent pending. Let's have a look at the great bone of time. On the left side, we've got paradise, where peaceful single-celled plants multiply in the sunlight. Boring! On the right side, we find the armored war machines, courtesy of the U.S. Army. Here in the middle is the Mesozoic era, with the dinosaur arms race in full swing. By the time the Jurassic period began, the first armored dinos got into the game. By the end of the Jurassic, the legendary Stegosaurus was at the plate. Speaking of Stegosaurus, here's one guarding a prehistoric pineapple. Why would he do that? He wasn't all that bright. Luckily, he made up for his lack of smarts with a state-of-the-art defense system. His famous diamond-shaped plates of armor were custom-made for repelling hungry carnosaurs. And they didn't get much hungrier than Allosaurus. Big Al had the teeth, the claws, speed, and size to do major damage. If you don't want to end up as an Allosaurus chow, you've got to have more than just armor. You need some fancy footwork. Bob Bogger says if you look at modern tanks, you can see how Stegosaurus defended himself. This tank works as a fighting vehicle because it can turn around real fast. Stegosaurus worked as a Jurassic fighting vehicle because it could turn around. Now, to turn around, you got to push sideways with your arms. And you do that with your deltoid muscle. Sergeant, show your deltoid. It's a good military deltoid right here. Good Jurassic quality deltoid. Now, Stegosaurus has the mother of all deltoids. If you held a Stegosaurus upper arm bone in your hands, you could feel this pulsating maneuvering power. Sergeant, uh, pull out the bone. There is no dinosaur, there's no other animal of any other age, with a deltoid like this. Look at this. Upper arm, left side, 
shoulder, elbow, and this huge squared off crest is for the deltoid. When that muscle pulled, pulled the arms sideways, pushing the stegosaur that way. And in the Jurassic, nobody but nobody could outturn a stegosaur. But Steggy wasn't turning to run away. He was turning to fight. And his tail was his secret weapon. Allosaurus has come here for a little free lunch. But with a quick turn and a snap of that nasty spiked tail, Stegosaurus could make him pay with his life. That's one nasty thingamabob. And speaking of Bob, let's get Bonehead Bob's view on how Steggy kicked a little tail. Thank you, Sergeant. I have here the Jurassic Tail Training Kit. In this kit, you will find something exciting. Now, here is an enlarged version of a stegosaur tailbone. It is not simple. This is a complex weapon. It's got extra joint prongs here. You have muscle attachments here. You have a hole for a nerve here. You've got attachments for muscles there. And on the underside, an attachment for an artery. And there are... 45 of these in a row, each with separate muscular control. What can you do? You wait until your enemy is 10 feet away. You take your flexible four-pronged stegosaur tail, and you use it as a precision weapon. You point it this way, you point it that way, you go up, and you fence with it. And it looks like Steggy has his sword sharpened. Well, back in the Jurassic, he was pretty much the only plant eater that could go head to head with Allosaurus, but it was always a war. Shrum. Shrum. He missed. See how quick Allosaurus is? I'll show you quick. Shrum. Uh oh, he's getting mad. Ah, let him get mad. Steggy ain't backing down. Look out, here comes Big Al. Yeah, no problem. He'll just give him a little of this. Ouch. 